Our today's lecture is about carpal tunnel syndrome. Entrapment of median nerve in carpal tunnel is called carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, we have different causes of carpal tunnel syndrome. First one is a synovitis, inflammation of synovial sheet can also cause a compression of median nerve in carpal tunnel. Fluid retention is another cause uh, because it can also cause a compression of median nerve. Infection and excessive exercise, tendinitis, inflammation of tendon can also cause a compression of median nerve. Uh, with the entrapment of median nerve, we have uh, two kinds of losses. First one is a sensory loss and second one is a motor loss. Okay, so when we have a compression of median nerve, then the sensory loss will be paresthesia, hypostasia, and anesthesia. Paresthesia is a tingling sensation, hypostasia is partial sensational loss anesthesia is complete absence of sensation okay so we have a uh, two motor loss associated with carpal tunnel syndrome first one is a thinner muscle weakness and second one is first and second limb cycles are also affected as you can see in pic we have a flexor retinaculum the median nerve is entrapped in carpal tunnel so we have a sensory loss of area of numbness showed in blue color uh, the uh, sensory loss will be a paresthesia hypostasia and anesthesia okay so as you can see in that pic we have a median nerve that one is a carpal tunnel the flexor retinaculum or we can say the transverse carpal ligament okay so here we have a tendons nerve so the compression of a median nerve can cause these kinds of losses okay now we have a clinical picture of carpal tunnel syndrome uh, when a person is a victim of carpal tunnel syndrome then he or she will have uh, some clinical pictures uh, some clinical symptoms a uh, first symptom is uh, individual is unable to oppose his thumb because of thinner muscle weakness and uh, difficulty in buttoning or shirt or blouse because of the weakness of first and second limb cycles and also there will be a some kinds of gripping difficulties okay so what is the treatment of carpal tunnel syndrome we have a surgical treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome that is uh, incision or flexor retinaculum that is also called uh, carpal tunnel release it is basically incision at medial side of wrist and transverse carpal ligament so the transverse carpal ligament is incised in uh, the treatment of carpal tunnel syndrome here we have a transverse carpal ligament known as a flexor retinaculum it is incised to release the contents of carpal tunnel to make a room for median nerve and uh, save it from entrapment thank you that's it that's all that was our today's lecture all about carpal tunnel syndrome i hope i hope you have enjoyed it so stay tuned with us for further lectures thank you